there's many other examples of early uh, anti-Christian writers, but they never denied the existence of Jesus. Let's talk about them a little bit. Yeah, that's a good question. And, and uh, uh, Celsus or Celsus is a good place to begin because this guy knows paganism inside and out. And he compares the Jesus story to some of the Greco-Roman mythology. And what's interesting is he finds the Jesus story uncompelling because it doesn't measure up <laughs> to the Greco-Roman mythology. He says, what God would allow this? What God would do that? What God would allow himself to be, uh, to be persecuted or uh, suffer or be nailed on a cross? What God would do that? And, it, and, and when he, Jesus is resurrected, he ought to appear to Pilate and he ought to appear to the high priest. And, and so I think it's really funny if mythicism on its own terms suffers shipwreck because the pagans certainly don't see Jesus as a, a pagan style God or redeemer. So that's interesting. You know, so Celsus in a way is no friend uh, to the mythicists. He doesn't deny that Jesus existed. He doesn't deny uh, the reality of the incarnation, the humanity of Jesus, or a place like Nazareth. He makes capital on the fact that the historical Jesus in the gospel simply doesn't measure up to pagan standards. So I think that needs to be made clear at the beginning. Thank you.